Hi, I'm Kristen St. Clair, Crafter and Martha Stewart Living. If you have a sweater you accidentally threw in the wash and it shrunk, don't throw it away. You can repurpose it to make a pair of cozy mittens. You will need a 100% wool sweater felted, paper, pencil, marker, pins, scissors, needle and thread, and an iron. Begin by tracing your hand on a piece of paper. Lay your hand on the paper with your wrist straight. With a pencil, start at your wrist, go around your fingers, into the crease of your thumb, and around your thumb. This is a perfect template for your mittens. With a Sharpie marker, I am going to go around my template, making it slightly larger. This will give me enough seam allowance so that when I sew my mitten, there is enough room for my hand. With a pair of scissors, cut your template out, and the template for your right hand can also be used as the template for your left hand by just flipping it over. To make a felted sweater, if you didn't accidentally throw one in the washing machine, use a 100% wool sweater or a cashmere sweater. Wash and dry on high heat. To make sure the sweater is felted, you can snip a little hole in the sweater and see if it unravels. If it doesn't, you're in good shape. It's a felted sweater. I've already made my right hand. I've tried it on, made sure it fit, so now I'm ready to do my left hand. Line your template up at the bottom hem of your sweater, close to the side seam. This way you're not wasting any felted sweater. Secure your template with pins, making sure you're going through two layers of sweater and your template. Now that your template's secure, you can start cutting around. Make sure you have a pair of sharp scissors because you're cutting through two layers. And that could get bulky depending on the thickness of your sweater. Take your time when you're cutting. There's no room for mistakes. You only have one sweater. You want to make sure you can get two matching mittens out of it. Remove your template, and this is a perfect time to go in, make sure all your curves are curved, and you have a perfectly trimmed out mitten. And don't leave too much seam allowance in the crook of the thumb. It can get a little bulky if you do. Make sure both sides line up. Once you finish trimming your mittens, pin them together, and you're ready to begin stitching them together. I like to just tack it together with a couple of pins in a couple different places. I'm going to hand sew my mittens, but if you're comfortable in a sewing machine, you can use one as well. I've threaded a needle with a thread that matches my sweater. Start in one corner of your mitten, feed your needle through the two layers, pulling it almost all the way through, leaving about two inches on the opposite side. Take the needle side and those two ends and tie them in a knot. This way a knot will not be pulling through the wool. And now it's time to sew. I'm going to be doing a blanket stitch. So each stitch will be fed through and then the needle goes back through the loop. Continue to do a blanket stitch all the way around your mitten. When you run out of thread, knot it off, re-thread your needle, knot it again, and keep going with your blanket stitch. I have a couple more stitches to do and I'm almost done removed the pins as I went along. On my last stitch, I like to just go through a couple more times, do a few loops to secure it, and time to flip it inside out. Once it's all open and looks like a real mitten, it's time to iron. My iron is set to the max temperature and filled with water. Steam will help flatten this out. Flip it over, make sure you have a nice curve on the top of your mitten. And because I lined my template up to the bottom hem of the sweater, there's a nice ribbed part, and I can fold that up and it makes a perfect cuff. Just hit it one more time with the iron and a little bit of steam, and I have myself a nice pair of new mittens. I made these for myself and a miniature pair out of the sleeves of a felted sweater for my daughter, Olive. How cozy and cute are these? Thank you.